There you go. See ya. Yes. Right there. Yeah. It's recording. How ready are you for this baby to come out? For this baby, for Lily to come out. Give me all the things. All of the things. Get out of here and let's get um let's get started on what we're gonna do oh that's bright you think you look cool with that hat on listen kaya said mommy este mommy este so if the young kid said mommy este and then said yes i look cool she just pointed at me and said uh puppy hat Otro hat. I don't know, which means other hat. And I don't know why she said other hat because I didn't even have a hat on at the time. <laughs> so there was no other hat. It was, the, it was the primary hat. All right, so Joanna really wants this baby out. I love you and I wanna love you from out here. <laughs> I said, we're gonna go get some hot food. One, because that'll help uh, the baby to come down, and also because you're using I think me. it's hilarious. Wait, how do I get there? We haven't been there in so long. We ha so you gotta go um, this way. Right? Yeah, yeah. She says I'm using her, but you know, it's more than just for the content. It's also so that we have fun. Joanna just made a really good point that I should let everybody know why she's driving. And that is because I am the cameraman. <laughs> this morning, as per usual, I wake up on Wednesday and I know that it's a big recording day. So a lot of my focus goes towards, you know, what am I going to create on that day? And just being completely transparent here, there are Wednesdays that I get up where I absolutely dread it. like dread it listen i dread waking up sometimes you what i dread waking up sometimes just because i know that that sounds so cryptic <laughs> oh my god people are watching because i have like, to because i know i have people, to hit the ground are running. they the christians what kind of christians are these because i know there's no slowing down it's not like i could just take it at my own pace kaya's like i'm up i'm ready let's go the life of parenting and living lives of purpose. When I go into those those moments where I'm just like worried about how I'm going to present and what what I'm gonna say and what's the video gonna be about and where am I gonna shoot it and basically, for a long story short, for those of you who've never experienced it, it's like a downward spiral. You just go down and down and down. And um, that's how I experience it. And that's what, what's so funny. <laughs> you know how when someone says things and uh, a song comes to my mind? Uh huh. That's what just happened. That happens and to you I, all the time. Yes, and I smiled in the background, and you're speaking about something very serious. And so they're was, probably like, why is she smiling? I just wanted to clarify that. Okay. That's what happened. The song that came up, because you just said down, down, down. Can you guess? Um. Down, down, down. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. What's... Is that Kimi Kenwai? 
Oh, yeah. I thought that came to my mind, too, but I, I didn't think that was it because... Because it's so different. There's only one down in that song. Not, oh no, he does say down multiple times. But it's really slow. Yeah, and you're talking about something really sad. Bruh. Anyway, like I was <laughs> saying, so... <laughs> so this morning I was like acting a fool, acting up, worried about how all of those, all of the things that I tend to worry about. And um, I literally felt like I heard God say to me, there's no point in you doing this if you're not having fun. When I heard him say that, one, that was particularly eye-opening particularly eye because um, it's true. Why would God want to call me into something or bless me with something that is not blessing me, that is not um, something that I'm enjoying or finding fulfillment in? Now, there's there's going to be things, and I think that there are people who have had a purpose that was so difficult that they didn't enjoy it per se. But I think that there's an emotion that should be tied to the purpose that you have that somewhat resembles um, enjoyment or fulfillment or uh, feeling purposeful. There's, there's a feeling that happens inside of you. There's there's a, a, yeah, a feeling inside of you that happens because God is giving you that purpose. And whether it's difficult or not, whether it can get burdensome at different points, doesn't matter because you're finding this fulfillment from him and that fills you up. Does that make sense? Yeah, what came to mind for me was that the overarching idea is the bigger picture it's there's there's meaning there's depth and when you think about something meaningful it's got a lot of different emotions tied to it you know something meaning, meaningful isn't just happy like when you get good news a lot of things besides the, the main feeling of happiness goes through your mind you start to plan out what that's gonna look like or maybe worries comes in a little bit Maybe a little bit of fear, like, oh my God, now it's settling in. Um, or, or the joy of, of giving birth to a child. It's such an amazing thing, such a beautiful thing. But then you're like, oh my God, I'm responsible for another human. Um, how am I going to do this? Am I going to have the energy? Um, you know, it's just so many emotions tied to, to something. And then when you think about how meaningful that is and the depth of what that is, the overarching theme is that it's meaningful, it's deep. But again, it's just tied to so many other things. When you think of the beauty of the depth of the ocean, going into the ocean is beautiful, but it's also dangerous. You know, mm. there's danger to it. You have to respect the ocean. There's, it's just so grand. So I just think that there are just a lot of other little things tied to the, the main concept. So not everything is going to be just honestly monotone in one emotion or one thought because that's not how god is he's not monotone he's not it's not just flat one way there's so much richness in the ups and downs and the different intricacies of the different emotions that you might feel <laughs> yeah those are my two cents that's way too close <laughs> Nah, that's really good. It's really, really good. Ready? Yes. Get you them hot wings, girl. Okay, so if you had to tell someone one th brief thing. <laughs> Three things? One brief thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, one three thing. <laughs> one brief thing about, oh. Okay, let me try to speak. <laughs> if you had to tell someone one a piece of advice, briefly. Brief, okay? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> one piece.
why he looks so angry. <laughs> because you want me to eat the hottest wings. The hottest wings are blazing. I told her to get mango habanero, which is which two is how down. many? Uh, right, it's two down. It's two away from the hottest one. That's, but you just said, I want you to get the hottest one. That's in the category of the hottest one. In the category. <laughs> Yo, don't be switching it up now. I said I'll do hot. I didn't say I was going to just burn just my mouth <laughs> and my taste buds. Encountered somebody. Wait, wait, ask again. I was young. I'm, I'm just asking the question. Okay. So if you encounter somebody who was having trouble uh, with getting past a spiral that was causing them to like just have difficulty with believing in the purpose that God had for them and they were generally having that issue. What would you say to them? Hmm. One thing. One thing? Yeah, just one thing, not a whole like therapy session. Just one thing you would tell them. Okay. <clears throat> I have a practical answer. What is that? I would tell them to write down every spiraling thought, like the main themes, the main things. Uh -huh. And then I would tell them to think of two things. I would tell them to think of the promises of God for them and of the thing, so I guess that would be the same thing. So I would tell them to think about the things that God has spoken to them specifically about their purpose, about their lives and then write those down right next to the, the, the list of the spiraling thoughts. Because a lot of times we have these spiraling thoughts that take over and they drown out truth. Mm. So it's easier when you can see it written down because even you start to doubt your doubts. Right. When you see it there, you're like, wait a minute, that, mm, um, and then, you know, writing a list right next to it of the promises of God, when you bring truth in and you invite truth in, it counteracts. <laughs> I might have to think about that for a few. I've done it myself. It's hard. It's another level. It sounds so simple, but it's a whole mm -hmm. other level. A lot of times, what's simple is what's most effective. Sometimes it's, it's like, you try to do too much. I think that happens to me. Like you try to do too much and like you slowly veer away from what already worked mm -hmm. and what, what was kind of already taking you to where you needed to be. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times you have to just return back to that. Yeah, and I think that's exactly what a spiral does is your brain starts to do too much and so you overload you're already burnt out mentally and probably emotionally and then eventually physically which brings you down the spiral because then you're like well now i'm now i can't think now i can't plan well now i don't even have the energy for it um and those like the, are the the main themes of whatever the specific thoughts are and then you that's when you get down to the spiral where you're like almost completely defeated because you just tried to do too much. Where are those hot wings at? You see that? You ready? No, but this better work. <laughs> Let it be known, first of all, that she said, all right, took the fork, grabbed a wing, and started going about to dip it. And I'm like, hold up. And she said, I'm just going to dip it. 
I was just gonna dip it and then wait. How am I supposed to? She said, "All right," with this finality to it, <laughs> this Latina finality. <laughs> All right, esto se acabó. I'm decisive. Okay. Where do you think your daughter's got it from? Okay, okay. All right, you ready? She said this better work. I, I need to go into labor. Like as soon as I take a bite. Dang. You're trying to get birth birth. <laughs> no half birth. Like I'm trying to pull out my own kid right now. <clears throat> hmm. You got this. There's only two wings. And it's, it's not three. even the hottest. Oh, you got three. Oh yeah. my God. Let's just put this here. <laughs> what the? Okay. It's sweet. Okay. okay. Oh, you took a bite. Oh, it's hot. She's moving. She's moving? <laughs> what is she doing? She's like, oh, oh now nah, they're trying to force me out. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad? I told you to let me get the Caribbean jerk. Oh my God. I can't have three of these. I'm gonna eat one. It keeps stinging me later. You wanna get birth? I'm gonna stop recording, she gave me that look. I feel like you need to eat the other half if I'm gonna suffer. No, I'm not the one trying to get birth. I'm good. You're gonna peer pressure me into that? This ain't high school. It took two. It took two. But I'm not giving birth. It's the least you could do. Not working. Everybody else is gonna agree. They don't know the love I got for you. So? They gonna agree because they want me to eat something hot. <laughs> As they should. And if I could just like leave my mouth in ice, I would. <sighs> Nothing is helping. <laughs> you eating another one? It's the same one, it's the other half. You eating another one? Look again. You got this. Let's go. Birth giving commence. Mmm, tastes good. <laughs> you still got two more. help? Nope. But I deserve some kind of prize or something. Some what? Some kind of prize or something. A gift. <laughs> what? I don't know. This is funny. Got any more of those? Any more what? Any more what? The sound. What sound? <laughs> so
So you were saying that that you would uh, basically tell them to write down the limiting beliefs, right? Mm-hmm. And um, and then write down like God's promises. Yeah. Sorry. Keep left, then make you turn. What's interesting is like I feel like that's exactly what God kind of did with me earlier because. Uh, he basically said there's no purpose in me doing this if I'm not having fun. And that resonated with me so deeply because there really is no purpose to me trying to pursue a purpose apart from enjoying the purpose itself with him. rather drive than hold the camera yes because everything is um, a lot extra of te technicalities me. lots of technicalities and things to be done correctly and so she said I'll drive I can't wait two hours to decide what I'm gonna eat and then make it or maybe make something small girl eats like I want my food right now right now right now I'm gonna get under my tongue. It's under your tongue? Oh my god, that's horrible. Who likes this? There's no flavor. 